Hey, good morning. Hope you've had your morning coffee. This is day 17 in my 21 days of prayer and fasting. I thought I'd start early today. We're in looking at James chapter 4 today, verses uh, 13 through 17. Uh, get your Bibles, read along with me. Now listen, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, or carry on business and make money. Why, you do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast and brag. All such boasting is evil. Anyone then who knows the good he ought to do and doesn't do it, sins. Wow. James just keeps up his admonition, doesn't he? To, but now to the business owners. But, uh, it seems like there's all kinds of issues happening in this community. And these few verses are perhaps the most important uh, for extolling a business ethic that can be found in the Bible. There was a presumption that persisted among these business owners, much like the presumption that was in the community at large. This presumption is one of self-reliance and self-sufficiency. People were acting as though they had accomplished things on their own. Now, while God knows the thoughts and attitudes of our hearts, James wouldn't have known about it probably, except that they were not just presuming to be self-sufficient, they were actually bragging and boasting about it. Now, boasting does have a place in the Christian life, uh, if it's done in view of the work of God, but such is not the case with the believers James was confronting. Instead of confessing their, their dependence upon the will of God, their arrogance erupted and overflowed with bragging. Now more precisely, to brag here means to manifest the pretense of self-creation and self-causation of one's own well-being. This kind of emphasis, I think, is epidemic in our society today, and it's also rampant in the church. Paul would tell us in uh, his letter to the Romans that anything that does not come from faith is sin. Friends, we're not our own. I know you know that, but maybe you forgot that everything we do is wrapped up in the will of God. We have no confidence in the future beyond knowing who it is that holds the future. Yet we plan our lives as if we were somehow in control of it. Therefore, there is an, an obvious danger of focusing on self, what the self desires, what the self thinks it needs. Instead, what we ought to do look, is to look to God and His will for our lives and our businesses. Such a standard is not popular in society at large uh, today, but it's not the standard of society. It's the standard of the body of Christ. Let us resolve today then to do the good we know we ought to do. Let's pray. Dear Father, forgive us today for our presumptuous self-reliance. Thank you for the reminder that all of our help comes from you. We grieve that we have not done the good we know to do and have instead done that which you ought to that which you thought best and right for us? Help us today to sift through the multitude of sounds that assault our ears with ungodly counsel to hear your voice leading and directing our steps. May everything we attempt and everything we do conform to your will for our lives. Give glory to your name and build up your body. Amen. Hey, have an awesome day. Bye.